Well, it was all the talk over the weekend. Northern lights were seen in all 50 states Friday night. And I missed it. I'm so <laughs> sad. Well, WLWTD's five meteorologist Adam Burnison spoke with a local astronomer to break down uh, what we saw and how it happens. According to Dean Regis, an astronomer here in Cincinnati, this most recent viewing of the northern lights across the city was one of the strongest he's seen since about 2001. And he says it's all due to storms coming from the sun. That outburst Friday night was unbelievably rare. Uh, by some estimates, it could be the largest uh, magnetic disturbance uh, in the century. It was the show of a lifetime. Northern lights were seen from here in the tri-state all the way south to areas of Arizona and further. The show was all thanks to a massive geomagnetic storm from the sun. We saw this giant sunspot group that was just shooting off these flares and what's called coronal mass ejections. These coronal mass ejections sent charged particles traveling 93 million miles to us. And once they hit Earth's magnetic field, they produce the spectacular colors of the northern lights. Most common for us would have been green uh, because those are usually the weaker ones. But we got to see some reds and purples and other colors, which meant this was an incredibly strong, uh, strong storm. Although the northern lights produce such vibrant colors on videos and images, Regis says it may not have looked as good with the naked eye. The camera usually does a longer exposure photograph, so my pictures were three second exposures, which means that the camera stays open for longer and gets more of the light. But while these solar storms can create beautiful views, they also come with other impacts. Satellites that are up in orbit can be affected. Uh, power grids can also be affected down on Earth, too. Now, Regis says it's hard to predict exactly when the northern lights will be this strong again. He says it can be as short as a few weeks to as long as a few years. So we'll have to just wait and see with the latest forecasts. From the observatory, meteorologist Adam Bernison, WLWT News 5.